right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're gonna stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead. Whoa! He needs to start looking the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. And he's... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that's nice right in. Oh, he might be out. Oh! oh look at that him. is it. He got him. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. We get the official decision. Francis and Ghana. Alright, so here we go. The heavyweight rematch between Stipe Miocic, the former champion, taking on Francis Ngannou. Ngannou was favored going into that first meeting. What type of adjustments do you think he's made to try to... Oh! Oh, is that a big knee? The body will see if he can follow up. For him. Put out the Wolverine. Put out the last Put out the Osaka. He can't get it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of his Now well, that's a good strike there by Ngan. We cross the midpoint in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ngan. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. And it's... Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His opponent on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh no! Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous sh the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that is in the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is, all smiles. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside.
So here we go. The heavyweight rematch between Stipe Miocic, the former champion, taking on Francis Ngannou. Ngannou was favored going into that first meeting. What type of adjustments do you think he's made to try to even the score? He has to take his time. He has to make sure that Stipe doesn't put such a pace on him that he gasped. Last time he gasped. This time he needs to take his time, be very patient, wait for the right shot to try and finish Miocic. Trying to establish that jab once again. There. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big punch landed over the top. I was gonna follow this one. on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're missing home. Close guard. And Goddard's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. He should be defending right now. Getting tighter. This guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a that he made him pay for it tonight. That's the submission victory. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine. 